Hi, welcome back to Tammy Talks About. So today I am going to talk about the audio that I told you about in my last video. Now this audio is taken from the audio where Johnny and her are talking about a little bit of everything. But it's the audio where she makes the famous statement, go ahead, who's going to believe you? Now, just for clarification, I want everyone to know that I listen to this audio at Incredibly Averages channel, which is where you can really find the most detailed put together audio transcripts of everything really in this case so now on to what i wanted to talk about as i said in this audio before she gets to that little famous quote of hers um johnny has given her the opportunity to to not do this he's you know this, even once he's had his reputation just basically ruined by the uh, protective order she filed against him, he still tries to give her the opportunity to stop it. And sorry for looking down, but I'm reading my notes here so that I make sure I get this to you right. But her greed, it wouldn't allow it. And she's basically threatening him here what she says to him is this it would be evidence tons of it and it would be through years and years it would be unbelievable to imagine that i'm in a a secret fight club or b this is what i want you to listen to or that i've been plotting to do this for years and while taking pictures of it and documenting documenting it and just saving it up for the right time when I'm not asking for any money and have nothing financial to gain from it. But no one is going to believe. And it goes on. That's the evidence. I want to, sorry about that, folks. I'm new to all this, and so my light just went out. So, <laughs> that's what I want to talk about. She basically tells him right here. She tells him what she's going to do. Evidence. Tons of it. Fourteen separate incidents magically appear. All of which are fantastical. Have tons of evidence, but really no evidence. All because she created it. She says... Um, She's been plotting to do this for years while taking pics and documenting it and saving it up for the right time. I fully believe she was being completely honest right there. This is probably the one time in her relationship with him that she was absolutely honest. Because I fully believe she went into this with the intention of jacking him for every penny he's ever had, there's part of me that believes that she possibly wanted to be the grieving widow. Now, there's no proof to that, and there's no accusations of that, so let me be very clear. That is my own interpretation from knowing people like her in my lifetime. But it's that, it's where she says to him, taking pictures and documenting it and saving it up. What did she do? She took all these pictures of these so-called bruises and she would text people and she'd tell them that he did it again. The monster is out again. Sorry, Les at SEC, she does her voice so much better than me. But she did this. This is exactly what she did. She took her pictures of the supposed attacks, she would text people and tell them that, you know, he's attacked me again. She came up with all these incidents that are not real. And as soon as the Poopgate incident occurred and Johnny realized 
what she was and was done with her, she decided she had to get the jump on it. That's when she filed the TRO. That's when these 14 incidents ha supposedly magically appear. Yet she suddenly has all this evidence. Now, there is enough video and photo evidence from throughout the relationship to prove that her evidence is wrong all by itself. We're talking about two people who are in the mainstream media who are celebrities, Johnny especially. There's photo after photo after photo, video after video after video. If you took those photos and did a timeline and put them with her so supposed timeline, it wouldn't match up, along with so many other things about this that doesn't match up. At the end of the day, I fully believe that when she made this statement right here, it was the one time in their relationship that she was ever totally honest with him. I believe that she went into this relationship with a plan, and part of that plan was to take him for everything that he had. That's why she took the pictures. That's why she sent the text. This was all a plan. And in this frank discussion that they were having right here, in this audio, I think it is the one and only time that she was honest with him. But what do you think? Please feel free to leave a comment below. Get in touch with me on social media. Sorry, I did it again. <laughs> Sorry. But I really want to know what you think about all this. So leave me a note. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you would like to talk about on this channel. Tell me what I could do better, what I could do different. Because this is all new and I'm learning. But I thank you for taking your time to stop and talk with me today. I'll see you again soon.